So we've been fortunate enough to travel to a bunch of regions now with food distribution. And what we're finding is not only the people working with the program are advocating for better ingredients, but they're also advocating for all around health and wellness. Commodities have changed a lot. I remember growing up, you used to get them off the back of the truck. They just had a box and they handed it to you. Now with, with the advent of the stores, people have a lot more options and a lot more choice in what they get. You walk in, you actually get to hand select your food. You get to hand select fresh ingredients. You get to hand select you know, your protein. So it is a shopping experience. It's a grocery market experience. It's food, it's real food. In the last four years, we've brought in our tribal leaders to some of our national conferences where we meet face to face with USDA representatives from Washington, DC. Our tribal leaders have become much more active in, in the food selection process. Compared to what we had as kids offered then to what they offer now, unbelievable. We want people to have nutritious meals, and we all have choices. And when you go into the grocery center, you can choose certain items, but we have noticed over the last couple years that these items have become extremely healthy. And you can make choices of choosing the lean meats, the fresh produce, and then in combination, there's other items that you can bring into your meal to make it well-rounded. I mean, when you have bison as a selection, salmon, you know, all the healthy fruits and vegetables, fresh, you know, um, I, it, it's come a long way from meatball stew, which I loved as a kid, but they don't have it anymore, you know. Uh, our, our people are uh, understanding that the food is there, and it all comes down to having uh, the meal prep, how to cook it healthy. If we take the time to educate people, and to actually walk them through and say, hey, this is an option for you. This is something that, that we can do. It will actually help benefit their health. You know, there's a lot of, uh, a lot of travel done nowadays, a lot of intermarriages, so fortunately that helps introduce some of these foods. But for a lot of people, let's, let's say wild rice, you know, they don't know how to cook it down maybe down in the, the southern half of the United States. It's, it's, it's new to them, um, but they're excited about it. And so teaching people is important to get out and, and to show them, hey, this is how you do this, to make people more familiar with options that they have and, and ways that they can incorporate them into their lives that aren't really disruptive to, to, to their normal eating patterns. We've seen in four years indigenous products incorporated. We've seen native produced products. That's coming from native people advocating for native people. So yeah, it is a government program, but it's also the people within our own community that are making the change for everyone. Healthcare is, you know, a big concern nationwide. Healthier eating, less healthcare cost at the end. So we've been uh, really blessed of having tribal leaders all around to join in. Um, I ran into a lady at one of the convenience stores the other day and she was trying to buy other healthy items to put with her commodity foods because she is, I'm trying to learn how to cook healthy. And I'm like, hey, it's, it's worth it in the long run. Just, just keep doing what you're doing. You're on the right path.